wanted to be a judge who knows just what is right and wrong and be good and be strong and on my swan up in the air I'm flying searching for justice can't just see me trying But because I am a good liar, I know what we can do. Let's hear the judge. Yes, because only our friend Klaus can solve it. and I've almost finished my vacation at my cousin Nikolai's cottage up here in Lapland. I haven't seen Nikolai and his wife Bertha in many a year. It is such a pleasure to be spending time with them again. A, a toast, toast to health, health and happiness. And happiness. <laughs> <laughs> now why is it, Klaus, we don't get to see you more often than once in a blue moon? You must vacation here this summer. I'll try, but my work keeps me so busy I hardly have the time, Bertha. Well, then you'll have to make time, famous judge, because whenever you do get a chance to visit here, you always have such pearls of wisdom for us, right, Bertha? <laughs> I think our little nightingale is hungry. She likes to think of herself as one of the family. Well, Nikolai, aren't you going to tell Klaus about your surprise? I had a funny feeling you were keeping something from me. You're going to extend your vacation a little longer, and I won't take no for an answer. Bertha's cooking is so fine, I was thinking of doing that anyway, Nikolai. Now, what's this surprise? All I'll tell you is that I'm going to take you flying. Flying like you've never flown before, cousin. I might have known that you would only give me one half of an answer. Ah, oh, Nikolai's been working away on this flying project now for a whole year. Now both of you have to remember to dress warmly and I'll prepare a big dinner for when you get back. A, a toast! toast. Hop on! All Ready? right. Whoa! Is this sled gonna sprout wings and fly? Wait and see. Wait and see. Mood sailing ahead. I love it when the sled goes fast, don't you? Yes. I mean, it depends whether the driver knows how to drive safely or not safely at all. That was a close call back there, wasn't it? Yes, much too close a call. Do you think you could slow up? But going fast is half the fun. <laughs> Don't be a backseat driver. I'll backseat drive all I want to where my safety is concerned, you big funny-headed baboon. <laughs> Well, we've arrived. What now? I want you to meet a very good friend. <laughs> well? Are you crazy? You've summoned a troll. Uh, now, don't worry, Klaus. This rare troll is a friendly one and completely loyal. Right, Croc? <laughs> he was abandoned as an infant. Bertha and I found him and raised him. Come here, Croc, and shake hands. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I'll have to force myself. <laughs> now look what you've done, Klaus. You upset the poor fellow. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry, Croc. It's just that I've never shaken the hand of a troll before. Can you forgive me? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Thank you, cousin. Now tell him you're pleased to meet him. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, Croc. It's a real <laughs> pleasure. Well, do you have the surprise already? <laughs> Lead the way, then. <laughs> Well, well, wonders never cease. You've got a hot air balloon. Not hot air, cousin. It's filled with helium and made from pure silk. Isn't it grand? Yes. Did you build this yourself? I had lots of help, didn't I, Croc? My wife Bertha sewed the pieces of silk together, and Croc here helped me build the basket. I've seen balloons before, but I must admit I've never seen one that was made of pure silk and filled with helium instead of hot air. I found the gas oozing right out of a hole in the earth, didn't I? <laughs> Where did the silk come from? Croc, this troll is a lot keener, cousin. He has a whole colony of silkworms in his cave, and he's gotten them to cooperate. Isn't that great? Fantastic. Say, can he talk? All he's done till now is to make noise. Can he talk? Ha! Huh, sure. Say, Croc, can you tell me something? Show close what I taught you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I am glad to meet you. My name is Croc. I'm a troll and I'm ten years old. <laughs> Nikolai, you must teach him more than that when you've got the time. Oh, what do you want from me? He's only a troll. Now come on, let's go. Only a troll? They've surprised me before. <clears throat> only a troll, huh? <laughs> Croc, let's go. That's it. Slow and steady now. Steady. Remember, Croc, always hold on to that rope. Will he be able to keep up, even if we go a little higher? Mm-hmm. There's plenty of rope. All we have to do to go higher is throw a few of these stones out. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so, how does that distinguished judge judge the view from up here? It's magnificent and so quiet up here too. <laughs> oh, is that Croc I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> of course it's Croc. His job is holding the rope. He's keeping us from drifting away too far. Hello, Croc. You're doing a great job. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Watch out! Uh oh. Oh, looks like we've hit a rainstorm. Dear me, it looks like our trip is going to get washed out. <laughs> Hmm, can you have Croc pull us down? No, there's a much easier way. I'll just let some helium out of the balloon and we'll float down gently to Earth. <laughs> oh, looks like Croc got mixed up and used the old rope, even after I had told him to use the new one. <laughs> Croc, you used the wrong rope! <laughs> I love to climb up and let the helium out myself. Uh -oh. yeah. Come, Nikolai, what's taking you so long? The rain is changing to snow and sleet. We'll catch our death of cold up here. <coughs> Darn. Well, what are we going to do now, Nikolai? Well, we can always scream at the top of our lungs for help, right? Oh, the storm is getting worse and worse. Why do they stay out in weather like this when they know that I worry so? We must be getting close to the North Pole by now. You're exaggerating. We're nowhere near the North Pole. If we were, you wouldn't see any trees or greenery. Nikolai, the sleet is changing to giant hail. Ah! Forgive me, Klaus. Forgive me, my dear cousin. It's not all your fault, Nikolai. Perhaps we're not really in such awful trouble. Now, now we're, we're in, in trouble! trouble. Mm-hmm. 
something. <laughs> Direct hit! <laughs> Aha! Why, you, I oughta. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, 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 uh. Take that! 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 <laughs> you may be younger than me, but I can out snowball fight you anytime. Oh, you can't hit the broadside. Oh, my God! I got you now! Uh, we'd better uh, stop this horseplay and figure out how we're uh, going to survive. You're right. Well, we've got to have shelter. Since there's no caves around, we'll build an igloo, huh? Ah, uh, of course! An igloo! Why didn't I think of that? There! A perfect block of ice! Hi there! <laughs> Take a look. What do you think? <laughs> Looking very good, partner. Uh, that it is, cousin. That it is. <laughs> Ready with another one when you are. <laughs> Not too much more to go now, hey, Klaus? We'll be done before you know it. 99, 99 bottles of milk on the wall. 99, 99 bottles of milk. milk. If, if one, one of those bottles should happen to fall. 98 bottles of milk on the wall. <laughs> ah! Not too bad. Pretty good, don't you think? Well, I'd say that this igloo is so good that even an Eskimo would be proud to call it home. What do you say we crawl into our new home and get some sleep so we can make a fresh start back tomorrow morning? I agree, I agree. When faced with a tough task, there's nothing like using teamwork. This igloo has provided us with warmth and comfort during the cold night. Now that it's morning, I feel rested and ready for the new day. Ah, uh, <laughs> I feel great. I think we can get back to my cave on these little skis mm -hmm. we brought with us without too much trouble, don't you? You're not going to drive recklessly, are you? Would you like to lead the way, Klaus, just to make sure that I don't? Well? Why, certainly. Whoa! <laughs> Oh dear, where could they be? That storm is strong enough to tear that balloon to pieces and them with it. Oh, it's them, thank goodness. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, who are you? Hi there, my name is Danny and you must be Bertha. I'm the judge's assistant. I've come to pick him up and take him home with me. He's not here. My husband Nikolai took him for a balloon ride yesterday, but they must have gotten caught in the storm because they were supposed to be back for dinner. A balloon? Where in heaven's name would Nikolai keep a thing like that? I don't know. I'm only aware that he keeps a troll named Croc somewhere and that he helps him take care of it. The storm could have carried him just about anywhere. I'll take Henry the Swan and cover the area. The troll will help us. I know that Croc's cave is by a big tree. I'm going to have to go along with you in order to find it. Fine with me. But when we finally find them, I'm not sure Henry will want to carry all four of us. <laughs> uh -oh. Why'd you whistle? That's Nikolai's signal to Croc. Croc! What direction did the storm carry Nikolai and Klaus and the balloon in? Take your time and think, Croc. Which way did you last see them go? Uh, up there, I think. <laughs> Listen to me, Croc. Now take your finger and point. Uh, they went there, there, there. All right, Croc. I believe that's the best we'll get out of him. It looks like he was pointing northward. I'm sorry. The rope broke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, Croc. Wish us luck. That's for sure, that's no my smell. Makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Look there, tiny ski tracks right here in the snow. Hey, it was a good idea of yours to follow Danny and his swan up here, Holler. <laughs> they went that away. We'll soon have gnome for dinner. <laughs> mm, fresh good gnome. Hmm, pull over there by that tree, Nikolai. I'm sure I saw something. What? 
What do you mean, something? I saw a pair of troll tracks, and I strongly suspect that they belong to my old enemies, Holler and Pooley. Sure enough, it's them, all right, and it looks to me like they've picked up our scent. I'd say they probably got on our trail by following our ski tracks in the snow. Then we'll have to do something to throw them off our trail. How do you propose that, cousin? We'll ski over to that cave we passed, then walk away, covering all our tracks up. I have to admit, you're pretty smart. Let's go. I'll cover the tracks. Oh boy, we'll have those trolls running in circles. This ought to be good. Look, Danny, there's the balloon. Or what's left of it. Ski tracks, we'll follow them. From the looks of it, they're miles ahead of us. Don't worry, with Henry's speed, we'll make up the distance in no time. They're in the cave. Yeah, we got them trapped, don't we? Funny, but I can't smell the varmints, Pooley. That's because your big nose is stupid. Whose big <laughs> nose do you think you're calling stupid, stupid? Those two have tricked us somehow. <laughs> <laughs> We may have fooled those dim-witted trolls for the moment, but let's travel as far as we can before they catch on. Oh, there! Huh? <laughs> Greetings, my friend and fellow gnome. Uh, can we ask a favor of you? I'm at your service. What would you have of me? Uh, this is my cousin, the world-famous Judge Klaus, and my name is Nikolai. I've heard all about you. Why, you're said to be the wisest gnome in all the world. I'll venture to guess you're far from home. Uh, we're lost. Say no more. I know exactly what you mean. My name is Igor. I'd like to personally invite you both to stay in my community for as long as you like. <coughs> the tracks end at this cave. They must be in here. Nikolai! Judge? Klaus! Come out! Gnomes! <laughs> <laughs> With you, Henry, why all the ruckus? Oh. Calm down now, we'll find them. Ah. Now we got you. Ah. 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 Let's get out of here, yeah. Danny! Ah. Ah. Fly, Henry, fly! Ah. They got away, they got away, they got away! Whew, that was a close call, wasn't it? Thank you, Henry. Because of that quick takeoff, we left those two trolls in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put some distance between us and those two trolls and find our lost travelers. Listen, everyone. I'm proud to introduce the renowned Judge Klaus and his cousin Nikolai. They got a bit lost after their balloon crashed in yesterday's storm. Hello. Hi! Hello! <laughs> it's unfortunate that you had this balloon accident, but your misfortune may turn out to be lucky for me and my neighbors. You see, we've had a certain problem for quite a while, and we hope that you, with your worldly wisdom, may be able to help us solve it. The problem concerns one of our treasured dogs, Artica. Well, technically, I'm still on vacation, but since you've so generously offered us your hospitality, I'd be glad to help. I shall speak for all of us and give you the background of the situation first so that you can get the whole idea of what has been occurring regarding Artica, and thusly you can make a judgment without any guessing involved. Artica was born right here. We raised her lovingly ever since she was a pup. She always has returned our love with undying affection and loyalty and has been a fine companion to our little ones. We could always depend upon her for transportation. In short, you couldn't find a more affectionate and amiable dog. But two weeks ago, her behavior started to become downright ugly and mysterious. Since I'm looked to as the leader of the community, I started getting complaints that she was stealing food. Artica, give back that food, now! She would Whoa. howl fiercely at anyone who tried to approach her. Finally, all of our menfolk had to band together to cage her as we feared she might attack the children. But caging her made her even more irritable and she also grew very fat. I see. It's okay, Judge Klaus. Artica has agreed to behave herself, Your Honor. I can tell by the startled expression on your face that all that Igor has said is true. Yet I wonder... Why should such a loyal and well-behaved dog go through this dramatic change in so short a time? 
I tried to come up with an answer for this problem. We all did, but none of us came up with a solution. Hmm. Igor, didn't I hear you say that Artica had gained a lot of weight? It certainly doesn't look that way. Matter of fact, she's quite thin, aren't you? The answer to this mystery lies in the fact that you had gotten fat, but now you're thin. Right, girl? <coughs> Artica, no! <coughs> Easy, girl. <coughs> ah, I have a very strong feeling that Artica wants to show us something. I think you'll find it safe to let her go. Wait, Artica! Wait for us! Wait! Artica! Oh, Look, oh puppies! My. Is that the answer? She had a litter! Yes, that's why she had gained and lost all that weight so quickly. And it's not unusual for a mother dog to get a bit irritable when she's nearing her time to give birth, which is also why she was stealing food. She had to eat much more than her usual share in order to build up strength to feed, let's see, five pups. We sure were blind to a simple answer, Judge Klaus, but you opened up our eyes pretty quickly. <laughs> Klaus, Nikolai, oh, thank goodness we found you and you're all right. Let me uh, hug you. Oh. Bertha, how did you find us and did you run into those two trolls, Holler and Pooley? Uh, I'll tell you all about it if you promise not to fly that silly balloon again. By the way, whose puppies are those? As long as you're asking, one of them is yours for the taking because your husband brought us the great Judge Klaus for a visit. Oh, thank you so much. Let's see, could I have one of the white ones? Ah, that one will grow up to look like its mama. The pups are too young to be taken from their mother, so might I suggest that we leave the family in peace? Henry? Henry, wake up. Come on, rise and shine, Henry. We're leaving as soon as Nikolai and the judge say their goodbyes. Ah, uh, you're probably thinking that a four-gnome load is too heavy a cargo to carry for all those miles, but I've got a feeling you can do it, Henry, because I have confidence in you. Bertha Nikolai, how would you like to visit with us for a while longer? That would be wonderful. We'd love to stay. All right, you've talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nikolai and Bertha are going to be staying here for a while. <coughs> Judge, Henry's his old self again and ready to depart when you are. Goodbye, my friends. I trust we'll see each other again soon. Enjoy your trip. Goodbye. Bye. Back to good meeting you. soon, my friends. May good fortune always be with you. That was an adventure. Bye. <laughs> You're right, Danny. My vacation did turn out to be quite exciting after all. Schlitzweitz!